Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We are on day 17 of summer. Year 2. We have coffee waiting for us. Let's check the weather. Ooh, it's a storm tomorrow. Good to know. And the spirits are in good humor today. Queen of Souls. Complete breakfast. And that's something we al already know how to make. Okay. And I guess people didn't take to Pierce Prime produce like I, I'd hope, hoped. Anyways, here's my old mini shipping bin. The next time you get your hands on some produce worthy of the Pierce Prime luxury brand, maybe you can have them shipped my way. Hmm, Pierre. Um, item placed in it will be included in the nightly shipment. Right. Hmm. Yeah, let's put that down there. We might have to see if we want to put that somewhere. Maybe indoors. Maybe have it indoors. Ooh. Yeah, we might actually want to have it indoors. And it seems like we have a fat stack of money waiting for us. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's go and pick this up. Right, I did pickled potatoes. question is, what do we do next? <sighs> Let's see, that is 2039. That's 20. So, one, two, three, four. That's 30 of them. One, two, three, four. So that should be enough. Bok choy is valuable, so that is absolutely fine. Should be enough. We haven't missed one of them yet. Yeah, and the last one. There we go. Melon wine. Oh, yes, we did melon. Oh, this is going to be so much money. That is going to be so much money. Um, let's do crystal fruit. Because I mean, why not? It's the middle of the summer, so let's use a winter crop. Uh, I missed one there. Wait for it. So, that's taken care of. Let's harvest the trees. Oh, a bunch of trees. That's good. I 
can guarantee that this will go away once I get here. Nope, it actually stayed. Oh, a frozen tear. I want to drink a coffee, but I need to hold back. I can't drink coffee just because I feel like I'm a slug with a limp. Uh, 78. We have gathered a fifth. Like 25%. We have actually gathered 25%. Oh, the things are grown up, right? Yes, yes, yes. Finally. That is all the animals interacted with. So good. That's really good. The pigs are now going to give us stuff. No, that's all. Yeah, I think that's all of it. Could you please just... Ah, oh, thank you. Dogs being in the way is like very true to the nature, but oh. quite annoying. But let's shove as much stuff away as we can. so tired I, i'm so tired from i have been recording like a lot because i have not only have i been recording for the week that there was uh i now record for the next week which is technically already started but yeah, it has been quite stressful trying to get everything up and running. And have something of a backlog as well. So we're not scraping by with just barely enough time to get stuff out. We can actually have some leeway and maybe do something in real life as well. Yeah, it has been. Did I? No, of course, I missed one. Yeah, it has been quite hectic getting things up and running again after being sick. But if I get. I, I basically, I need to record a bunch of uh, Stardew Valley. And I actually need to record two more episodes after this one. And then they are billions, and we should, at that point, we should actually be uh, on schedule again. And that would mean we don't... Uh, we don't need to stress as much, which would be very, very nice. Oh, another one. A bit of copper is always nice. And I think we drink coffee, run around and see if we have a bunch of... Now, what do we need to make this? Stone and fiber. 
Okay, a secret note. Someone is waiting for you on level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Hmm, okay. I don't think I ever reached level 100 before in the Skull Cavern. I think 50 or something. But I don't think I ever reached level 100. Mostly because it, it's actually quite hard. Um, or is very expensive. But regardless. Let's see if we can harvest as much as we can possibly do from here. If those cost you... Those tree fertilizer cost you stone. And I need stone. I need to actually keep the stone. Maybe we just make like one or two of them. Yeah, there it ran out. Yeah, we might just make... Let, let, let's go back up and let's... Let us... Make... Let's make three, I would say. See, have you produced any cockle? Oh, yes, you have. Let's sneakily go in and uh, pick that up. Yes! So nice. Oh, I missed that. Missed those, those three. Let's shove you in there for the time being. Boom. 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 Now. Let's take 10. Let's take 10. Let's make two of you. Can I actually have the shipping bin in here? Like this mini one? I can. Ooh, yes. Let's put you there. Oh my god, that's good. It's going to be a bit annoying that uh, it's going to make a bunch of noise when we go past it every single time. Oh, and you can do this. I think you can only do nine, maybe? Oh yeah, you could, it might actually be that you can't, can only do nine. Let, let's test that. Let's take one of stuff in here. One of you. One of you. One of you. The grapes, we should go away and... Uh, because we have this, 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 and this. Um, technically, the blackberries are actually less valuable, so... Yeah, let's go with that. I think you can only put a certain amount of stuff in them, which... Is the limiting factor. Since you can put them down. Wherever you want them. It might be something that is really good to have. Can we actually make more of them? I don't 
think so. I was contemplating if we put them down where the sheds are. But I think in the house is actually more valuable because if we ever have anything we need to sell, we can just super quickly toss them in uh, this mini shipping bin in that's inside. So if the case that we cut it so close, we faint uh, because we're so tired. Basically, that the time hits 2 a.m. and we're not in bed. And we're still inside, at least if we did, if we needed to do that before going to bed, but we just cut it a bit too close. We're still a lot closer to the bed and we're inside so yeah i think having it in the house is actually more yeah that i think that's actually better now let's test the tree fertilizer let's go out here uh let's see how do you actually work oh okay let's put you on this one Yeah, so technically those two should grow a lot quicker. We have actually this one up here. We can uh, do a comparison with. So... We need the coffee. So yeah. We will see how that actually plays out. Because it might be... Uh, it might actually be um, good enough and quick enough that we want to spend resources into making that uh, so that all the trees around the map outside our farm grows a lot quicker. Yeah, here you can see he actually comes out in the afternoon and the evening. So if Sebastian, if Sebastian is someone you need to uh, to interact with, he should be coming out later during the day. trees do you and do you oh warp totem let's keep that uh mines we need to go down and do let's go 20. Let us actually have coffee so we move around a bit quicker. Don't really need it, but it's really nice. I think we have put that into the museum, but, but let's keep it. down oh there's a bunch of stuff coming for us taking forever though oh there you are first hit. Oh, 
There we go. More stone. Let's come down. Yeah, upgrading your your um, pickaxe to gold is really, really good. Takes a lot less time to mine stuff if you do. There we go. What time is it? We still have a time to do stuff, so. Let's see if we can go. Taking a bit of damage, but whatever. Let's go down. The, the only thing I really care for is actually the stone. So the bug meat is actually really, really good to get. Um, because it, especially if you've been fishing a lot or a lot of, have a, a lot of crab pots. Because yeah, um, actually raiding like go spelunking in the early levels of... Uh, the mine is the best way of getting uh, bug meat. Funny enough. Can we find a way down? Nope. Okay, we need to get back. Oh, we actually got that's the quicker way. Uh, 20 bug meat. That's 100 bait. Nice. 144 stone. Ooh, that's good. Bus stop. Uh, we actually got nine coal from that as well. That's really nice. Like the perk you get from... Uh, this prospect chance to find coal is doubled. It gives you a lot more coal than you would think. But it's still not enough to sustain uh, yourself when you do a lot of uh, crafting and, and uh, smelting. So you might need to buy that kind of stuff uh, regardless. Oh, I'm not sure if I have actually... I don't remember. I forgot to put the truffle... into... Um... Oh, what do you call it? Uh, the community center. Sweet pea... I might have found a Dwarf Scroll 1. We'll see. We will see. I, I, it might be that I only need number 4. Uh, or have I actually finished it? No, I have not. Okay, the animals. Oh, I haven't closed for the animals yet. Now I have. Let's pick up the last truffle. There might be more, but we don't have time for that. Put the truffle away. Yeah, it has nine slots which you can put stuff into. But that's it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, 
I haven't forgotten about anything, right? I don't think so. I need to make more coffee. So let's go to sleep. Oh yeah, that that's a big chunk of money. Melon wine, 1,050 each. That is 35,700 gold. Just a melon wine. <laughs> and then pickled potato, almost 10k. Ooh, yeah, that's a big chunk of money. So, day 18 of summer, year two, here we go. All right, it's a storm. Weather report. It's sunny day tomorrow, so that's fine. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Leaving off the land. Here's an idea. Start a wild tree orchard. Put tappers on those trees and harvest a valuable syrup. Oh, don't. See if I care. I already have that. Yeah, so, so the mini chipping bin is a limited slot thing where you can't put too much in and it only clears once the day is over so you go to bed and then you get money get shipped off okay Okay. Good to know. And I think... Yeah, having it indoors is actually... The best place to keep that. Because it's so often you're indoors and... Uh, you find yourself that... Like, needing to sell something and then you have to go out and then go back in again and because it wasn't finished or, or whatever it might be so yeah the, I, I would probably say keeping that mini bin indoors is the best option now cryptic note we need, we need just way more. We need way more wood than we have. We have a bunch of stuff to harv harvest as well. We should go and pick up. Uh, I don't like that these are out of sync, but... Ah, oh, yeah, that, that's just what RNG decided for us, because we got a fairy. I really don't like that fairy. It messes with my calculations and timings. <laughs> like, still, yes, you do get more crops out of it, because it you actually produce crops a lot quicker. Uh, especially if it's... Um, the repeatable, repeatable ones. Not only does it grow uh, your crop to to be fully grown, it also um, puts it into a state you can harvest immediately. Um, but yeah, I, I personally, I. Um, actually want it to be in sync because it's it's like fa let's face it really easy to earn money anyway so it's not like you especially not the second year you don't really need that extra boost in income okay wood 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 what would we do without the wood that is the question we have to ask ourselves. And yes, that was really bad, but I could not... Like, how could I not? Uh, anyway... 
with those really bad uh, puns out of the way, we have harvested all the trees we could find. Now, we don't want the animals to be outdoors today because how it is. Nothing behind there. Good. Since it's raining, we don't want to open up and let the animals out. Because they will be... First off, they will not go out and they will be unhappy uh, in the long run. So, can I talk to you? Yes, I did. Go in here. It's a bit... It's too bad because the, like, the pigs has to be outside, if I remember correctly, to find truffle. They can't be indoors, so... It's actually a bad thing to have pigs and have a rainy day. But it's just, like, it's what it is. We don't have that many pigs that it matters, so... might use that uh, thing, like that uh, beach totem. Uh, oh, right, right. We need to make more coffee. Thirty of you. should go by yes that's what I'm going to do as well uh, I need to pick up a truffle before we go anywhere we should nothing in there is there any right it's um, the hops Coffees, we can actually run a bit faster. No, not tea. Go away. I'm meant to press Y. Sell you, and let's head into town. Because we need to buy a rice. then quickly go back yeah here you can see Sebastian is going to the beach uh, and that is because it's a rainy day uh, rice let's buy one of you it's not cheap but it's way easier to buy than trying to make it yourself because you need the, the mill to actually make it, so... Let's run through the beach really quickly. We don't really have... We haven't... Like, we haven't... talked to people... I have talked to people way less than I normally do, but I think that's fine. Mm. You don't need to talk to people, you can do that. I'm more of a min-max, sadly, kind of person in these kinds of games. Like, you usually don't play for this long. Or rather, should I say, this is as far as I usually go. 
maybe up to fall, but that's about it. Um, drink one more coffee. Let's run just around here to see if there's any trees. Nope, no trees for now. I haven't grown yet. Is there anything down here we need to do? Uh, we need to stop the spice berry away in here. Yep, there we go. And that's it. Um, broken CD. Me. Put in here. Let's go here. So sweet pea, coral, clam. That way. Mackerel. there. Just way easier to do it that way. Let's go this way this time. Check in here and uh, we have coffee to pick up. Probably should have check that beforehand, but whatever. Uh, we can let those be. Two star fruits. Put you, make you into seeds. No idea how many seeds they're going to make. That's fine. seed than necessary. At some point I might let it be and have all of them be at the same time but we'll see. That day is not today at least. I'm not going to drink another coffee while we're on the farm. I need to put the ancient fruit away but not in there. We're not really close to where we want to be for that, so... Now we drink coffee and off we go. So this way we are heading for the community center. And that is because we have two things to put into the bulletin board which is the last thing in the community center we shouldn't have that much more to put in to be honest is there something up there i think there is but uh, we need to open this up Probably not something I can do right now. Probably need to go a lot longer. I might continue playing this in like streams or something. Once I have managed to 
to get myself enough time to actually do streaming and have enough time to test some streaming setups because I have never streamed before. So it might be good to do a bit of testing before you do anything more permanent. And... Right. Over here. The bulletin board. We have the mackerel. We have the truffle. It's too bad it's a iridium star quality one, but that's just how it is. The bundle is completed. We have our reward, which is three pink cakes. And now we have just one thing left. We need a rabbit's foot. The rabbit's foot is quite hard to find. And we are going to have to, like beg for, for one from the trader or hope that one of our rabbits uh, decapitates one of the feet and uh, gives us one rabbit's foot. It's fine, it regrows, so the rabbits are completely unharmed. And it's something they do to themselves, it's not something I do, so that should be fine, right? No, uh, it, it's an item. It's an item they might drop. Um, sort of at random. And it happens, it can happen when they like you enough. But even then, it's actually quite, um, quite uh, rare. So it's not something I like. I'm going to. I'm not going to say that there's a guarantee. If you wait this long, it's going to happen, because there is no guarantee for that be honest um, let's buy like four beer and and um, give it away to people Leia you want one really nice gift Pam here you go Shane here you go and you it's a fun gift I hope so. Um, I think we might go for Leia if we actually can spend enough time wooing her. It's not super hard, but it's going to take a bit of time. And... Oh, right, we need to speak to Shane as well. Not sure I speak to all of you guys. Might have done that, I'm not sure. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep on going. Let's head back and... Right, let's go this way and see if our trees has grown. We did a fertilizer thing. Oh, yes, one of the trees are fully grown. Let's cut you down immediately. I'm not sure how that works.
Let's make 10 of them. And, um... Actually run around and see if we can... Uh, Go and pick up all the grapes and stuff. Apologize for that. Uh, I'm a bit hungry, so I sh probably should eat something. Kind of early in the morning and uh, haven't had breakfast yet, so probably should eat that. Probably, but it's going to have to wait until we have That is a lot of grape But grape wine isn't actually that valuable To be honest It's still not the worst thing but there are other stuff that is actually more valuable. But for now, let's run around and see if we can get a bunch of trees to grow a lot quicker. I think it's a run, like, it might actually be that if, um, because all trees are random like like really all trees grow at random there is a percentage chance for a tree to grow um, every day it's fairly low and I think what it, what that fertilizer does is since one of them grew, uh, one of the one, the trees out here grew to completion, whereas the other one didn't. So yeah, I think, like, the difference from the two trees we fertilized before is that if, the, like, the tree that is technically growing get that, gr like, uh, it procs that chance for it to grow. I think what a fertilizer does is actually grow it all the way instead of just to the next level, to the next stage. So I think that's what the fertilizer does. That's what it looks like, right? Uh, the animals are closed. Uh, in here is nothing. We could just go to bed, but... Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can start some more... This. Right. Can we... We can do the Iridium Band, right? Yes, we can. It's going to be expensive, but let's do it. Um, let's take six there. It's ten, so twenty of these. There we go. Getting the iridium ore we have going. Let's pick up all the essence. Oh, oh, that's expensive, but it's a good thing to have because if we go in here, of course, we have, not only do we have a ring around us, so we see a lot more, we also attract items, as the magnet ring does. And it increases the attack damage we do by 10%. 
which is probably the best thing with that item. Now the lucky ring... I think having that instead of the second magnet ring might be what we want. Like having plus one luck at any time is really good because luck is basically what makes the RNG. But basically what it is is that when you roll a dice uh, for the day, uh, that's what uh, what the uh, fortune telling is basically. It rolls the dice to see how much how high your luck is going to be, and what that ring does or anything that actually gives us more luck, uh, what it does is whatever the dice roll is, plus one. So it's if you roll a one um, on the dice roll, it is going to be uh, plus one the, uh, on top of that. So whatever the dice roll is, plus one. So, uh, but yeah, the... I think this is... It also helps a bit when moving around. We have a... Yeah, I, th I think that's... Makes it a bit easier to see as well. Uh, because YouTube, as YouTube is, likes to darken everything. And I know exactly why that is. Like, it's a compromise... Uh, when it... Uh, Press the video to a smaller format without destroying it too much. What it does is actually destroy shadows. So any any like in between colors disappear. So and usually the black is really like grayscales take up a lot of space. Um, shadows is actually really really. Um, Like, Shadows is actually one of the few things which <sighs> cost a lot of uh, hardware space or resources for a computer or, or uh, to uh, process. So, in a video, um, like, destroying the shadows or removing them or compressing the, the shadow... Uh, quality basically into a more uniform color while the while the image might look especially shadows look quite shit to be honest uh, it saves a lot of space and processing power so it's what it is I, it, and that's also the reason why if you have if you play a game which there is a lot of darkness a lot of shadows and it's quite resource heavy because it's 3D and all of that fancy thing and not pixels like Stardew Valley is. Um, you very, very easily um, can handle a higher um, 3D quality if you more or less remove the shadows or lower the quality of the shadows. So let's end the day with a bit of money. Yeah, it's nice passive income as always. And uh, yeah, uh, we need to. We're going to have to see the whole like the the um, tree fertilization. Um, how that. Like, we did 10 of them. It's going to be interesting to see how many trees actually go, com gets completed which so we can chop them down. Because it might actually be that if you want to do like that kind of quest with Robin where you need to gather 1,000 wood in a week, which is a lot to be honest, and depending on how many trees you have around, you might not be able to do it. But anyway, 
it could be interesting to see how well that works and how many trees that actually is something we can chop down tomorrow uh, on day 19 but other than that uh yeah as once we, as as long as we get uh one more oak resin get the 1000 wood we need basically and a bit more stone we need more stone so we need to go spelunking and uh, we can do it in we don't have to go deep we can actually do it in in the first like 20 30 levels of of the the mine but we need to gather as much stone we need to have a lot more wood and then we need one more oak resin and then both the sheds are going to be equipped they're going to be full with kegs and preserved jars which is very nice and not only that we are going to be able to do two different batches so we're not limited to having like 30 34 it's 33 so 60 so we don't need 67 of one thing uh, uh actually but we can actually do 34 in two so the two halves of the sheds are can be two different things and they can be uh different speeds on them which is nice and uh don't think there's much else to do other other than like harvesting uh, see if we can, right rabbit's foot we need a rabbit's foot but that is up to luck we will see if we get one if we don't yeah we we only have the uh, rabbit's foot uh, left and once that is put into the community center we have finished the whole community center but more of Stardew Valley is going to have to wait until the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.